So I'm joined by Robbie Blake after watching the works. Disappointing result. Two result. Uh, two losses in a week, Robbie. We just didn't turn up today, did we? No, same mistakes again. Um, nothing in the game, and we give them a goal from nowhere. Um, then we start playing a little bit. You sort of say we had a couple of chances, and Jordy goes through and he decides to shoot when all he has to do is square the ball to Dan Gifford, and it's it's one all. You know he's one yard out. It's a, it's a five yard pass to, to square it, and uh, you know at one all the game is a totally different game. Well, it's one of them ones, Robbie. Where in the week I'll, I'll get straight to the point. Uh, Jack said there will be changes within the staffing team. He didn't specifically say who. Any update on that? Because I think the fans don't just want to know, they need to know because they travelled all this way and the players, they did try, but making constant mistakes that they just seem constant under pressure on the pitch. And I just, we just need answers from the sideline, don't we? Yeah, Is no, anything going to be changing? That's, that's Jack's, that's Jack's domain, unfortunately. That's, you know, Jack's, that's Jack's, um, you know, he's the manager and, um, you know, he'll make them decisions and whatever whatever decisions, you know, he'll make them. So, you know, that's not for me to, to comment on. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, if you're not scoring goals and you're not conceding and you're, and you're conceding silly goals, it will result, it will lead to disappointing results. Well, we're going on, uh, we signed a player in a week, uh, Finley, of course, from Brumley, a five foot, three or four well possibly five at five striker is that the answer do you think because we've already got Dan Gifford up there we don't need other strikers Robbie do we why have we got someone in for a month loan and not starting them no no I think I think it, obviously it was um, late yesterday that we finalised everything and I think obviously um, Jack probably wanted just to see and then obviously you know we were bringing him on at, as, at an early stage in the game and I thought he actually acquitted himself quite well I thought he looked quite tidy on the ball um, so yeah you know listen we'll see how he comes in I'm open he'll, he'll improve us um, in the final third and um, you know we'll, we'll have a look at that and I'm pretty sure we'll have a look at that in the next couple of games and have we got any other players coming in because it's safe to say although we couldn't score today the midfield as well we just I don't know I don't know where to start we're getting same on Tuesday we're just committing silly mistakes again well, it wasn't from a midfielder was it, it was from the wing back mm. who makes the ball, makes the mistake but can't let the ball go out for a goal and then unfortunately Pete to be fair even when you look at the game they haven't really caused us that many problems and um, you know the lad scuffs it <laughs> it's going into the ground Calvin makes to try and block it it goes deflection off Calvin goes over Amadou's head and unfortunately that's just the way it's going but what I would say is we're just not doing enough in the final third. We're not hungry enough. We haven't got enough um, about us. And um, inevitably, if you're not scoring enough goals, it will lead to disappointing results. Well, I asked Jack the question on Tuesday. I'll ask you the same question, Robbie. Not in a patronising way, because that, that's not how I'm coming across. But I said to Jack, is he happy to take the club forward? But are you happy in your role to take the club forward to the end of the season? Well, I think that's a difficult question, isn't it? You know, that's something that we need to speak about. As I don't think it's right that you, you ask me that question, and I know why you're asking me, and I respect the question. But I think it's a bit difficult to ask that question when we haven't spoken. Do you know what I mean? And um, you know, I'm not flirting around this, the, the the question. The end of the day is Jack's the manager, and he he makes them decisions. You know what I mean? So. Um, they're, they're questions you need to ask Jack to be honest yeah well I'm not asking you like I say Robbie yeah, yeah. yeah it's one of them things where the fans are asking me this yeah I'm I wouldn't say I'm the voice of the fans but I get a lot of comments on the radio yeah. we get the comments on the whatsapp and people just asking to ask the management stuff because they are frustrated and of course of course they're yeah. going to be and I've just said I went over and spoke to I spoke to the ones near the, near the, near the dugout and I spoke to the ones behind the goal and thank them ever so much for the for the, the commitment and and what I won't tolerate and I've told them in there is players certain players not going over and thanking the supporters and clapping the supporters win lose or draw because unfortunately they have to do that it's a matter of respect respect mm. for everybody whether you played well in the game disappointing with the result you go over and clap your supporters so these players know and expect now that every time home and away we go and clap the supporters yeah well I, it's, I've, all the away games I've been to and I've been to every one this season Robbie 
probably 90% of the players have, but it's just a couple that haven't. So it's not all the players, but the players that haven't. Yeah, yeah, maybe. No, listen, listen, yeah. listen I, I know all the players, right? that's the most important thing. And I've spoken to them, and uh, they know now. And, um, you know, hopefully we see a change in that. But also, it's another question. You don't have to answer it, Robbie. We, we hear, I'm, I'm not going to name the names of the players, but we hear some players don't turn up for training in the week and yet they play on a Saturday ahead of people like the Harrison Brooks who hasn't been getting a lot of game time recently. Do you think the fans need to know if the players don't come training and they start week in week out, do you think that's fair on the players on the bench? Or is it, is, is it Jack that picks the team? Well, of course, of, I mean, of course Jack, you know, Jack's the manager. You know, Jack gives me an input, but Jack's the manager. Um, um, I, I, when you say they don't make training every week, that's that's not correct. I mean, but you know, everybody, you know, it, when when chips are down, everybody it's mad because everybody that when you twelve ten game ten or twelve games in, you're nearly top of the league. No one questions these 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 things. You know what I mean? No one questions are you training right? Are you, is everybody coming training? Everyone thinks, oh, well, they must be doing something right because they're getting results. Now, it's quickly, quickly escalates that just before Christmas, you know, we had injuries, we had suspensions, and we, we weren't allowed to train. We had COVID. This is before the Worthing game because the real st st stumbling block really is after the Worthing game. Yeah, yeah. The Worthing defeat yeah. and the Lewis defeat. Everyone's saying, mm, yeah. we need this, we need that. And then, I think it was more after the Lewis defeat, Robbie, wasn't but, it? But yeah. we, had two, we had two fit players in midfield. Mm. You know, at our level, you can't go and get 15 players or three or four players in on short notice. You just can't up, you can't do it, Pete. And, no, I, I, you know, nobody's as frustrated as me and Jack or other people, players and supporters in the current situation. I get it. But I'm not trying to defend any situation. But the, what I would say is, around the Lewis time and the Worthing time, we weren't allowed to train. We, weren't, we didn't really have that much training going on due to COVID, due to people being ill. In certain situations, people being injured, people suspended, and before the Worthing game, I don't think we pl we trained nearly a week before because we couldn't. You know, so I'm not pl making excuses. Then just other sides of it of that, that are true, and we've only lost. Is it one game more than the team that's top of the league? It's one of them. And things, we've drawn yeah. too many games, but unfortunately, if we haven't got the firepower, or if the firepower is not working like it was in early in the season. You're going to suffer because you're not scoring enough goals. Yeah, well... But you keep gifting goals. Yeah, we keep, keep gifting you know, goals. You, you, were, yeah. you were at the game on Tuesday night. A team that was third top. How many penalty box entries did well, they have in the first half? They had three. Their, their <laughs> manager, I, I had to I had listen to Bishop Stolfer's manager. He said that's one of the most worst, f worst first 45 minutes he's seen from his team. Exactly. Until the last minute when the they played minute. a little bit of football. Well, they didn't play a little bit. Because of because one of our players... Yeah. One of our players switched off and allowed the lad to run in the box, tries to make a tackle and he's got a free opportunity. After we should have been 1-0 up. Right, lastly, I've been told before the game about Kane's situation. We, they did say we can talk about it after. I've been told by Simon Cook and Dave Robinson that we're allowed to talk about it. We've heard that he's left. Uh, have you got a message for Kane? Because I've heard it was all on good terms. Yeah, no, Kane's a great, great Kane, Kane is a great person. Uh, fantastic uh, lad. And he's been a good servant to the club, but we just felt it was a, a the right time for both parties to move on, uh, and that's it. And um, you know, we we wish him all the best in his future. He's a fantastic person, and um, you know, hopefully he has um, you know uh, gets something sorted pretty quick and, and goes on and and, and beats a success. Well, we got two two home well big home games coming up. Every game's a big game, but now what would you say to the fans because? The last one we want is fans not turning up to games because the support at home yeah. and away is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. What's your message to the fans to come out for the home games now? Just keep coming. You know, they've been coming. You had nearly 800 people up against Potter's Bar. We've got, a lot, we've got to win. Things and times are a bit hard at the minute, but, the, you know, it only takes one result or one turnaround for players to start making them feel a bit confident. Um, and it can quickly change. You've, you've watched every team now, Pete, and honestly, there's not, there's not an hair's breadth between a lot of them. You, know, no. you get the odd one or two, but other than that, everybody can beat everybody. And, um, you know, we've just got to try and get in that situation where the quicker we can get a result, the better it'll be for everybody. And we, we, we want to, you know, get the fans out on our side, get it, get it home, and hopefully on Tuesday we can give them something to, to, to cheer about. Well, Robbie, I'll end it there as Jack's come up.
cheers for the honesty and appreciate it and we'll see you on Tuesday yeah cheers, cheers.